Tyler Malley making his third start as a twin. It was good his last time out. Six shutout innings against the Angels. He's going to ride that high fastball in the top of the zone. That's going to be the biggest pitch for him. The 3 2 pitch. Tried to check his swing, but went. And no, oh, they say he did not. Wow, I thought MJ went well past, but they got a break from the third base umpire, Dan Merzell. And that's a walk rather than a strikeout. Now here's Bobby Witt Jr. Melendez on, nobody out, no score, and the 2 0 pitch has popped up. Shallow right, a rise out, Kepler in. It's going to be Kepler calling and catching. So Melendez back to first, one down, and now Salvador Perez DHing today after catching the first two nights in this three game series. And the 0 1 is skied in the air, left field shallow, Correa out, back pedal, squares the shoulders into left field. He'll give way to Gordon. He calls off Correa. So a couple of fly ball outs induced by Malley. First wit, now Perez. So two down. Melendez still at first. And now here comes some more youthful power in the reigning American League Player of the Week, DHing. He was the first two games at first base today in Vinny Pasquantino. And the 0 1 pitch. He reaches for that one, pops it up. Again, back of short. It's going to be Urshela giving way to Gordon. And Nick squeezes it to end the inning. Daniel Lynch will make his 19th start of the year for the Royals. His record is 4 and 7 with a 4 5 2 earned run average. And opposing hitters have jumped on the first pitch they have seen against Lynch this year, as Byron does here and skies it to center. Playable for Michael A. Taylor to his right. And the gap in left center calls and catches one out. He'll score two down, bottom one. Arise continues to pummel. Royals pitching had a great game last night. His batting average at 336. That leads all of baseball. Poke to left center field. And the hit machine produces another hit. Three hits last night, including his 400th big league hit. And a two out single here in the first will get Miranda to the plate. And here comes the red hot hitting Jose Miranda. Two count and the pitch is swinging a fly ball left field and deep. Rooker going back on the track at the wall. That ball's got a home run to the bleachers in left field. Jose Miranda with number 12 on the year. A great first inning start once again. And his 2 nothing twins, four batters in. So Miranda challenged inside, was ready for that, and found the bleachers in left. A two out, two run homer, and the twins are on the board. That was up and in, Danny, 94, and still got on top of it and drove it to the bleachers and left. Able to get the bat head out there, and that's a pitch that Miranda can handle right there. So one down, here comes Max. Kepler, three for nine in this series, snapped an 0 for 29 on Monday night. Had a three-hit game, and a 2-1 ground ball right side might be two. Massey has it, throws wide of second base into left field. There's nobody covering third base. Celestino is going to round third. He's going to come home, and Rooker just lobbed it back in the infield, and with that, Celestino scores. Kepler stays at first base. Miss cues all over for the Royals, and with that, the Twins capitalize. Celestino scores from first base, and the Twins take a 3-0 lead. Tommy Watkins was sending him the whole time. 40 pitches, 27 strikes, but no solid contact. Seven men in a row set down. Everyone else kind of watching, everyone sitting there, the training staff, Rocco, everyone's kind of going, does he have something going on? And if there's no gun in the stadium, there's nothing, there's no instant feedback. You're just watching him pitch and he's throwing the ball well. He's getting people out. And in the end, that's all that matters. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look. Yeah, I was just going to say, if his father in law, Jay Pettibone, had retired seven in a row, and he may have in his debut in 1983, would have said, hey, this guy's got good stuff. But now we see a guy who averages close to 94 with his fastball averaging less than 90. They've been aware of the decrease in velocity, but now here in this inning, it seems like it's decreased even more. He was getting to what, 91, 92 in the first inning. I think we've seen a high end of 88 or 89 here this inning. He's going to be taken out of the ball game right now and get checked on, I'm sure. So Tyler Malley, he will leave this game, and that is the last thing we need to see right now in his third game as a twin, traded at the deadline from the Reds. So Malley is walking off. Next to Michael Salazar, the Twins, head athletic trainer. It's going to be Bobby Witt Jr. leading off. And the pitch hit down the left field line not well. It's going to be a long run. Gordon, and he'll dive. Makes the catch on the warning track. Nick Gordon in left field ran a long way and fielded it in fair territory, made a sliding catch on the warning track. And there's out number one. Runner at second, two down. And it brings up the number nine hitter, Nick Gordon. Hit well to right field, long run is the right fielder. He's not going to get there. Eaton's going to turn around, play it off the wall. 
throw into second base. It's not in time. As Sanchez scores, Twins lead four to nothing on a two out double by Nick Gordon. Gordon, a lot more playing time. His RBI is getting up there too. He's driving some big runs in. And hitting the ball hard. Uh, he is making consistent, solid contact, and that one was hit right on the barrel. And Eden quickly turned around, played that off the wall. But with that, Sanchez scored easily from second base. Perez at second, Pasquantino at first. Now another left-handed batter in Michael Massey, one for two. Swinging a fly ball, right center field, Celestino to his left. He will dive, and Celestino will make the catch in right center field. The runners hang on at the respective bases. Perez at second, Pasquantino at first. That ball was fading in the gap in right center field. Celestino brought his glove and his body down to the grass and made a sliding backhanded catch for out number two, lunging forward, and that was a clean catch. What a play by Celestino. Outstanding effort, and that's out number two, and now Taylor will bat for himself. 0 for 2 today, 0 for 7 in this series. And now ahead of Michael A. Taylor, 0-2. And Duran comes home. The 0-2, strike three called on a curveball. So Duran strikes out two, Royals don't score, and Strand two more. That will bring Massey up, who's one for three. To center. Celestino ends it, and it's a three-game sweep for the Twins to open the homestand. Well, just a dominant all-around performance, a dominant pitching performance through the entire series. Played good defense, a lot of timely hitting, a lot of big two-out hits. Big boys stepped up. You had a rookie come through. All in all, a lot of positives to take away from this heading into the off day and another home series over the weekend with Texas coming in.